While roaming around in Italy, I decided to focus in on the Roman Forum for my final project. The Forum is located between the Palatine and Capitoline Hills, where it was constructed to become the center of the ancient Roman world. It has sustained history and legacies throughout the centuries, dating all the way back to the 5th century BC. The construction of the Forum was gradual, and it was constantly reconstructed until the last expansion in 312 AD. Although it is now just broken, weathered pieces of buildings and columns, it once stood as the heart of Rome, as a place for a public forum of temples, administrative halls, political buildings, markets, and courts of law. Citizens of this ancient city primarily used the forum as a marketplace and a neutral meeting place after an alliance was built between Romulus and Titus, the two kings of the opposing hills. Over time, the forum became began to rise as a much more versatile area in the center of ancient Rome, holding many functions in public events. Each structure, temple, basilica, and other important monuments held different functions, and they were constantly dedicated and rededicated throughout different rulings and time periods. The Roman Forum has fallen and been reconstructed many times during its existence, and each reconstruction consisted of its own style significant to the time period. This allowed for various forms of architecture and materials like concrete and marble from different areas, eras to merge together and create a unique design in the construction of the buildings. Roman architects were greatly influenced by classical Greek designs, but the Romans also created their own signature structures, such as basilicas, triumphal arches, domes, Roman baths, and amphitheaters. <clears throat> There's so much history beginning back from decades ago in this city that is now filled with dust and rubble, continuously developing and housing people, parties, and politics. I am only going to be touching on a few of my favorite monuments that stuck out to me as I roamed around in the forum, but there is so many more to study and appreciate. The first mon monument I saw was the 15 meter tall Arch of Titus, which is a Roman triumphal arch which was constructed by Domitian in 81 CE at the foot of the Palatine Hill. It commemorates the victory in the Jewish war in honor of Emperor Titus's brother. In the inside of the arch are two panels with relief sculptures. One depicts the tri triumphal procession using pieces from past temples, and the other one shows Titus in a chariot accompanied by goddess Victoria and the goddess Roma. The arch contains such respect and honor through art with reliefs on this, on that celebrate the victory and triumph that Titus brought when he took back Jerusalem from the Jewish. The arch, the ark is a political and religious statement expressing the importance and respect that people had for Emperor Titus. One of the other first structures that I noticed is walking down the stairs, leaning on the Palatine Hill that led into the Forum was the Basilica. The Basilica served as a meeting place for administration and functioned like a courthouse or meeting hall. After Christianity became the main religion of the Roman Empire, the Basilica came to be a church where the masses worshipped and remains. And this remains its function today. This building was huge and hard to miss, therefore I wondered what purpose it held back in the ancient days. Just beside the basilica stood the temple of Antoni, Antoni et Faustine. Sorry, the temple was commissioned to be built by Emperor Antonius Pius in dedication of his wife Faustine, but after his death, it was rededicated to both of them. It was turned into a church probably around the seventh century and still stands as one of the strangest churches today. Another important or a, an important temple that caught my attention was the te Temple of Saturn. It is the oldest temple in the Forum that has consisted of three reconstructions, with the first version being built in 498 BCE. The surviving ruins of the temple consist 498 BCE. The surviving ruins of the temple consist of only the front porch, with only eight columns still standing. And it is interesting to note that these columns are composed of pieces recycled from earlier temples. The shafts of the columns are made from Egyptian granite, the two on the side from pink aswan, and the six facade ones from gray mons claudinus.
The temple was built in honor of Saturn, who was associated with wealth and agriculture. His association with wealth led the temple to be the house of the treasury, where the Roman Republic's reserves of gold and silver were stored. The next building that seemed more sturdy than the rest was the Curia Julia, the Senate House. It wasn't until the old Curia Hostilia had burned down in riots in 15, 52 BC that Julius Caesar began to build the new still standing Senate House Curia Julia. <clears throat> But it was not until 29 BC that Octavian, better known as Augustus Caesar, completed the structure and it was dedicated to himself. The Curia held a central hall with five rows of seats where important senators would sit in sessions to make important decisions. It was a center for political decision making, decision making and communication in Rome, housing decisions for centuries. Curia Julia was the third named senate house in the ancient city of Rome, but in the 7th century it was converted into the Basilica on St. Adrino Alfora. This conversion and other restorations were most likely the reason that the building is one of the structures that survived decades, mostly intact and preserved, giving us the best impression of the scale of the architecture that once stood in the Forum. The last monument that I'm going to talk about in the Roman Forum is the Temple of Castor and Pollux. It was erected in the final decade of the first century BCE, replacing the early temple, earlier temple dedicated to the twin sons of Jupiter, which had stood on the site since 484 BCE. Today, only the inner concrete core of the podium and three columns survive this once massive structure. The Temple of Castor and Pollux intended to celebrate the rule of aristocracy and military success. Next to the temple, there's a water spring and a pool dedicated to Juturuna, the nymph of good health. According to legend, the casters were spotted here watering their horses after a fight. The temple of Castor and Pollux was not only a place of worship, it was also a place where fathers came to officially name their children. The Roman Forum stood for decades, constantly being rebuilt after wars and natural disaster, or rededicated during transitions of power and, or beliefs. It's very cool that I was so privileged to walk into this place that housed so many different people from different eras and rulings. Unfortunately, when the Roman Empire began to fall, so did the Forum. The ancient buildings and sites were being destroyed, materials being chipped away to use elsewhere. Although it was mostly broken, broken pieces and dust of the once standing heart of Rome, it still attracts millions of visitors each year and remains of one of the most famous historical sites in history.